Hey guys, it's time to do the water test of the new Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime and see if it can handle the water or not uh, for let's say two minutes because of course it's not a waterproof phone or water resistant phone officially. So uh, we do get a speaker at the top right area. So that's uh, again, like I said, it's a new thing, you know, and Samsung's like experimenting this thing. They might have this on like their main phones maybe in the future galaxy s8 i don't know but uh yeah we do have speaker at the top right area here and nothing at the bottom so let's see here how it can handle the water let's say you can accidentally drop your phone in water a tub of water you know accidents can happen so i would test that out and just have the brightness at this level and uh, we're gonna go in uh, to the clock application and turn on the stopwatch. Uh, here we go, okay. And let's drop it in like this. Oops. Okay, there we go. No, what am I doing? Okay, so relaunch the clock and uh, let's uh, Go. Okay, please, please stay there. Again, it's doing some kind of crazy stuff. I don't know if it can survive this water torture or not. So, and we cannot see the time. So, that's that. You see the display doesn't work underwater. I can still play with the the home button so I'm just gonna leave the phone inside again uh, do have the timer going on my camera here so and I'm not gonna be skipping the video because of course you cannot see the timer going so we're just gonna leave the phone there and and I'm just gonna leave the camera running and we're just gonna talk about different stuff okay so I know you guys have been requesting a lot of videos I'll be doing a full review also uh, in comparison with other phones okay let me know everything and uh, interesting thing is that it has 8 megapixel front camera f1.9 aperture size okay which is a uh, very welcoming front camera for selfie of course so 8 megapixel is something we haven't seen on uh, on other Samsung phones. So, okay, what's that? So the water is actually clean, but the tub was like a little bit dirty. So we have like these particles. But anyways, uh, it's still, you know, the water that can damage your phone. So I think it's, uh, it may be above one minute. Again, I'm not skipping this video because, you know, I get really weird comments when I do these type of videos. So, water is very, very nice. Okay, zoom in a little bit more. Okay, it was doing something. So a good thing with these phones that don't have removal back is that they actually do a lot better in water compared to those phones who have removal back like the Galaxy J7 2016. So if your phone has like removal back then do not put in water because it will die in seconds. So you can see this is doing a great job and I can see like a little bit bubbles. Okay. Well look at that. So. The water is actually going inside the phone. You can see it's doing weird stuff. And <clears throat> of course, the speaker grill is like a little bit bigger. So, and it's of course different. So, water will be like, you know, welcomed a lot. And I can see like a big bubble uh, around the charging port area. Look at that. So, I think we should give it like a little bit more time like around 30 seconds more okay and let's see here five minute we're at five minute 45 46 47 uh, should 
bring this phone out at around six minutes so that's the time that I that I can see through the camera of course on my camera I mean so let's see here that's it and of course I have to clean this phone off with my cloth let me just zoom out here move the water out of the way and again you might think that it's like less time but believe me guys this is a non waterproof or water resistant phone so it's a, it's a big risk okay it can get wrecked pretty easily so whoa okay it's not responding I hope it should okay oh no recently used application it actually accidentally closed the application so Wow. Okay, so I can't show you the timer. It got closed, but I guess we just have to test out the different stuff. And okay, still doing weird stuff. Let me clear this one off a little bit more. Okay, let's see. The camera is working fine, no bubbles whatsoever. Front camera is also looking great. Let's see here, touch is looking nice. And if we go into settings, whoa. Okay. So it's still doing some stuff on its own. Look at that. And it closed the application automatically, which is weird. But what I'm about to show you here is the ringtone or like the speaker, okay? So this is the speaker and I can see the drops coming out of the phone, okay? You can feel it, small drops. Let's check the ringtone. Okay, definitely distorted a little bit, but still it's not destroyed completely. I hope you can hear it. So. I think if I put this phone in like a bag of rice uh, for some time and uh, then it might get to its normal, uh, normal, you know, sound level, the speaker. So yeah, it survived. It, it, it does a pretty well job in the water. No problems whatsoever, which is great. Might test out some more stuff. So yeah, Galaxy J7 Prime. Pretty good phone and uh, again any specific video you want to see let me know and see you in the next one. Peace.